What is up guys and welcome back to another initial focus video. So I'm sure many of you have been in the situation of wanting to buy a camera slider. You go online and you see hundreds of them. Now of course there are some very good and very expensive brands out there who carry amazing sliders, but I knew I wanted to stay at around $500 or less. Meet the Selens Nordic N1. Crazy thing about this slider is I never really went searching for it. It just ended up eventually in my suggestion box of Amazon. If you search for it, at least in the American Amazon store, you won't actually find it by a basic name search. Looking for a website? Nope. How about any reviews? Not really. At least not in English. Honestly, I compared this to the iFooted Shark Slider S1, which started around $600 for the base unit. The much more cheaper options, while some may be good, I knew there were just a few things I wanted to have. One being build quality. All of the rails on the N1 are made of carbon fiber. There's virtually no plastic anywhere. All connectors, screws, mounts, weights, and stands are extremely high quality metal. I definitely feel comfortable on this thing holding everything I pack on top of it. It can hold about 15 pounds without the flywheel and about 9 width. It has all the different tripod connectors you could imagine, 3 8 and quarter mounts on top and even light stand holes on the sides. Number 2, Ball Bearings. I knew I didn't want a slider that just relied on a slippery surface to remain smooth in motion. Ball bearings allow this system to be extremely quiet, precise, and extremely smooth. Number 3, the flywheel. I wanted different ways of moving the system, and when I attached a Manfrotto 502 HD head on it, I knew I could just push or pull along with that handle, however for some shots the flywheel on the end is extremely helpful. For example, you could have one person control the horizontal movement with the flywheel of the slider, while another person controls the tilt action on the tripod head. And finally 4, the price. Like I said, in the beginning I knew I wanted to stay sub $500 if possible, but still maintain all of the items above. It took over a month to find the slider and I'm very glad I stumbled upon it. I'll definitely leave the link below so that you guys won't have as much trouble finding it as I did. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll leave you with some demo footage to showcase the slider in action. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day.